Dave Snyder here. It's the 30th day of December 2013. Okay, a couple important things to show. I showed this when it, during the time it was happening back in, during the floods in, in uh, Colorado. This is the weather pattern that was there that day. This is a very important weather pattern on the earth that it's showing right here. This circular pattern was very, it's very important because it helps us put, put the earth back together in its original uh, configuration in a way can say but it also it also proves proves it without a doubt that the moon has hit the earth many times i mean you can see it in the weather people don't i mean you can try to argue with me but until you uh i mean i mean i can't prove to you that the moon has hit the earth i cannot prove that it just it's not possible like i i understand that i cannot prove to you that the moon has hit the earth but you can prove it to yourself if you think it's important enough i mean because it, it changes all science it changes all Earth and lunar science completely. So if you think that this is that that would be important if it was discovered, you ought to look into this. But anyways, I mean, because I, like I said, I cannot prove it to you. You have to see it for, with your own two eyes. And I have I have seen it more times than I can count. I mean, just every single day. And you think it's crazy if you want, but I'm telling you right now. Until you look, you won't know. This is the absolute biggest secret on the planet Earth. It has to be because nobody will believe it. But it's clearly, clearly there. Okay, so this is the weather that day, during or those during those floods in in Colorado just a couple months ago. All right, and you see this pattern that comes off the side right here, right? This it comes out like a little horn right here. I showed this before. Now here's here's a picture of the lunar south pole with Schrödinger overlaid over this spot. The complete picture right here, reversed. This is a reversed image of the moon. You have to flip the moon over, put it on the Earth. Okay, so let's see. There's the there's the horn right here. Watch. Perfect, perfectly in place. It's right in place. See that? Now, when you look over here, the same picture. You see this this shape here, and you see the same thing right there in the northern United States, right there. Pretty close. It's not perfectly lined, but it's, you see that it's the same shape right in the same area. Then you pull back. And you got to understand, we can't see this side of the moon, so they're leaving a lot out. You, they definitely are leaving a lot out. But this absolutely goes right in this spot, right in this location, lunar south pole. Now, I, I don't believe it happened where North America is today. I don't think it happened right here where it is today. And people will th will say that's crazy that it had these the continents haven't moved that much. But this happened over here. It all happens right here. Like I've said before, you will not know. You will not be able to find what's going to happen in the future of the planet unless you know the, the past of the planet. And, and I, I spend a lot of time trying to figure out what creates these this subduction. And it's not plate tectonics that creates it. I'm sure plate tectonics, if that's what you want to call it, is happening at this moment. But I'm, say, not, I'm saying, look at the big circles on the Earth, people. What creates that? You have to think. What makes that big-ass circle? What makes this big circle? What shapes all the continent in circular shapes? Look at this big circle here. Okay, so anyways, you see that? That's absolutely what creates that. Sh or it, I'm not saying it creates it, but that's what th this hits right here. It hits the land just like this. Now, I'm going to bring up another one, uh, another picture that I found the other day. I was going through this right here. Some ancient African weather. I showed this before in a video, I'm sure. But I gotta come down here to find it, or up here. Oh, yeah, down here. African, ancient African weather, right here. This is weather from down by Antarctica one day. See, there's Antarctica right there, and this is weather that was down there one day. And I've, I've done this before with other weather that, in the same place that you can see the shape of the Sahara. You can see the shape of Africa right here. Now, I brought this. This is over Africa. And you can see that that's ancient African weather there. I mean, look at this spot right here. You can see it right here. That is the same thing, right? So what's that? What that is showing me is there's another Schrodinger impact right here. There's another Schrodinger impact that happens near Antarctica, right? Right here in this spot, Schrodinger fits perfectly right there in the weather. You can almost see it right there. But that shows me that there's that I can put. Schrodinger right in here, and it should fit. 
because Antarctica was these continents were together like this. I know South America. You think South America was the one right next to it? It probably was right here, but the continents were together like this at one time. They had to be. Okay, so when I do that, what it show what this picture shows when I do that is South America is right here. See the tail of South the southern tip, uh, tip of South America right there. Okay, so you got the shape of South America. Now, if you turn this like this. And look at this, look at Asia, Central Asia, and Europe. Take a look. What's that shape? You see South America, the shape of South America right here. And it comes down to the tip. So what I did is I know the Copernicus crater fits south. Just watch, watch this. So I'm going to bring up the Copernicus one, and I got, turn this off first. Here's the Copernicus reversed over the Earth, and you can see you can already see Central Asia and Europe in this picture. I mean, I just showed you that picture of a uh, like this. You have to look at it sideways, like that. You can see right there. Look at that. That is the same thing as this right here. Tell me it's not. It's the same exact thing. So this this tells you how large the Moon is, people. I mean, I can't see how you can get a more accurate reading of the, the lunar size. The, the moon is not the size they say. It's impossible. Impossible. Not possible. So when I brought this over here, anyways, I brought that brought the Asia over here. Here it is. And you can see pretty much, I'm not saying I got it perfectly aligned, but let's go up to this spot right here where this, where this crater is. It's off to the edge. It's not going to be real easy to see, but it's there. It's right here. See that round circle right there? That is that right there. I mean, you can see the totally see the shape. It's what it's what hits there. The moon hits the Earth, people. I mean, there's no way around it. No way around it. Many times, and I know it sucks to have to think that. Maybe that's why nobody wants to even get, look look into it. But it changes all scientific knowledge basically of the earth and the moon it changes it all that's probably another reason why they don't want to talk about it because it it discredits everything that they told you in the past that's bullshit in order for them to bring out the truth they have to all be discredited so what's that going to do that's going to change and disrupt everything that's another reason and, and the main reason is money this would definitely tell you where shit it, gold and everything else was on the earth it would give you an advantage and I, people think that that it won't, but I mean, it would. I know that it would give me an advantage if I knew where there was gold here in this spot, in just right there. And I looked at the moon and I said, okay, well, where else does that hit on the earth? Because I know there's other spots that that spot hits on the earth, so I got to go find those. And there's probably gold there too. You understand? So I'm just trying to point this. This all puts it together. You can put South America is the same exact shape as this right here, just like this. So something is shaping, making a pattern on the Earth that's like this. This you can see this shape in North America. This this shape is in. I've showed it before in the Indian Ocean right here. You can see it in the Indian Ocean at times. That pattern I've showed it already in videos already. You can check them out, my channel. But I'm just saying you will not figure out what the future is of this Earth if you don't know the past. And the past is right in front of you, people. I know it sucks to have to even realize what the past is, but is it really? Does it really suck? I don't think it does. I think I think it's nice to know. It, it, I enjoy knowing the truth about the planet because when I when I go up to the mountains or I or I see some, I know what created that. I know what it was. It was nothing. It wasn't plate tectonics pushing shit up in little tiny centimeters at a time. No, 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 no. Not even. I think every continent basically was a result of an eruption from an impact. It takes place over in the Pacific Ocean, most of them. Right here where all the subduction is. So anyways, I'll end it there. If you have any questions, just go ahead and ask. I mean, there shouldn't be no question, really. There is, I mean, there's no question that the moon's hit the Earth a bunch of times. And you can find that out for yourself. Like I said, I cannot prove it to you. You will have to prove it to yourself. So check it out. Have a great day. Happy New Year, by the way.